everyone welcome back to another monthly favorites video today i am going to be talking to uh to you about my october favorites um however i realized i did not film a september favorite so i'm going to be combining what i've been enjoying september and october so we got quite a bit of products to go through so i'm just gonna get right into it and tell you what i've been enjoying so i'm gonna start off with skincare um the first thing i've really been enjoying this month it's from a brand called omoritsa and this is the queen of hungry mist now i had this previously i really been enjoying it and i finished it all up and kind of was looking for an alternative but i kind of went back to this one because i couldn't find one and um it's i use it as a toner it's insanely good but also incredibly expensive however you can occasionally get discount on this um brand um i get mine from directly from the website but you can also get it from uh lookfantastic.com and sometimes they do like 10 percent discount or sometimes if you're lucky 20 percent discount and yeah it's really worth checking this out it's a really really nice toner i've been using it every single day since i got it and it's just really good it really hydrates my skin and my skin seems to really like it and it is expensive but if your skin really likes it and i don't mind spending a little bit more money on skincare so yeah that's from omarisa something else from omarisa i've really been enjoying this is the thermal cleansing balm and i am on my last legs with this one um i've got another um new unopened one in the bathroom um I just really like it so this would probably be in a empty video um, next month so yeah this is really really good thermal cleansing balm it's one of the best cleansing balms I've tried before um, I've tried many I've tried Emma Hardy before I've tried a brand called Mary Maya I've tried a Clinique one and I think this is the best one um, I would have a link on the pre ones I mentioned in the description box below if you are interested but um, this is genuinely one of the best cleansing balms i've tried it's really hydrating and leaves my skin feeling really soft and non-greasy and my skin seems to really like it so i've been using this pretty much every day for the past two or three months and yeah best cleansing balm ever so i really like this another skincare product i've been enjoying and this is from a brand called malin and Gex, and this is the 10 percent sulfur paste now i use this as a spot treatment because i've been getting quite a lot of breakouts on my chin lately and some on my cheeks as well and i've just been using this on a cotton swab and kind of dabbing it dabbing it on to the affected area and just leaving it overnight and wake up the next morning and the spot is completely gone or it's kind of dried out a little bit which i find is really effective so overall i've really been enjoying it i've been using it whenever i have a breakout and i never had a problem with it so yeah highly recommend this if you are after a spot treatment so that's from alan and gets final skincare bit i have to talk about this month this is from glam glow and this is the thirsty mud hydrating treatment i really like this i had it for about two months now and i think i used it about seven eight times um it smells like coconut and the color looks a little um and um, what's the word i'm looking for it doesn't look so good but it's really really hydrating and it smells like coconuts like i said and i use a old foundation brush and i kind of just apply it liberally and just leave it on sometimes i leave it on for about 20 minutes but sometimes if i'm just do not doing anything in the house i kind of put this on in the morning and just lounge around in the house with it and kind of just wash it off after about an hour and it just leaves my skin really soft and every time i use it i love the results so i highly recommend checking this one out if you are after a uh hydrating uh treatment face mask especially coming up winter now where your skin gets a bit dry so yeah this would definitely come in handy during the winter months it is quite expensive for what it is but um i think it's worth every penny because it is very very good and i think this pot it lasts me i had this for about two months now and i used about a third of it so it would probably last me a good two three months on so yeah i really recommend checking this one out if you use it sparingly as well so you don't need an, a lot um of the product and if you just apply it with a foundation brush then you can control the amount you use so definitely recommend checking this one out 
Moving on to a bit of skincare, and I'm going to start with what I got on my lips today, and this is the new NARS Audacious Lipstick called Vera, and I just love the new NARS lipsticks. It's just really pigmented. Mine looks a little like this. I've been wearing it pretty much every day since I got it, and I kind of applied it quite lightly today. I kind of just dabbed it onto my lips, and in fact, I'm going to apply a little bit more now. yeah I'm just doing dabbing motion and um, it's somewhere between a matte it's not completely matte but it's not satin so it's sort of like somewhere in between which is quite nice and the formula is also really long lasting um I really like the packaging I as well um uh, it's just like a magnetic packaging which I think is really cute and um, it's kind of an amped up version of the old lipsticks which I also have but I think this one is much more hydrating and long lasting. It is a bit more expensive than the old lipsticks but um, I think you are paying for the quality of the lipstick and um, yeah I highly recommend checking them, these ones out and they have quite a lot of shades actually. They got a lot ranging from like nudes to like um, dark vampy lips like this one or they've got something more um, neutral um, pinky tones. They also got really nice red colours so yeah I highly recommend going to a NARS counter and checking the audacious lipsticks out because you would find one that you would like so yeah really been enjoying the vibra and i've also got a nether shade called bridget which i also been enjoying so that's from uh, nars another lip product i've been really enjoying this is from fresh and this is the fresh sugar tulip um lip treatment and i had this sent from my friend in america a couple of weeks ago and i have been using this alongside with this every single day and it's just really nice. Um, it's like a tinted lip balm, but it's also really moisturising. Uh, I never tried anything from Fresh before, so I didn't know what to expect, but I always heard really good things about Fresh as in general. So mine looks a little like this. Um, it's like, it on a website it describes it as a bright fuchsia, but once you apply it, it's just quite a nice balmy, rosy pink. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this and it also smells really fresh and um, really nice to put on the lips as well. So I've just been enjoying um, this as a lip treatment and it doesn't dry my lips up either. So I've just really been enjoying this one. Final two bits of makeup I've been enjoying and they're both eyeshadows and they're both from the same brand. And the first one I'm going to talk about is from MAC and this is the new Brooke Shields collection. Um, Velux Pearl Fusion Shadow, I've got the sh um, shade Mortal and um, it's just a really nice warm tone eyeshadow palette um, it's cream and um, I kind of swatched it earlier, I'll swatch it for you again it's just a really nice um, creamy pink and um, all the shades are really wearable I've been wearing this one all over um, the lids and I've just been wearing the gold um, on the crease as well and um, it just it's really pretty and it stays put all day. I never tried any um, of this formula from MAC and I am really, really impressed with it. So I highly recommend checking this out. I think it's still available because I've still seen it in quite a few MAC stores. So yeah, I highly recommend checking this one out if you um, are interested. And I would try to find the online link down below and link it in the description box for you below. So that's from MAC. Final bit of makeup favorite uh, favorite I've been enjoying is also from Mac, and it's two separate eyeshadows. But I've been using this as a duo, and I've been using Sober all over the lids. And this is called Honey Lust, which is quite a new purchase for me. And I've just been using this all over the crease, or um, I've been using this all over the lids, all over the crease. Either way, it works really, really well, and it just gives you a really nice, simple look without being making too much effort or without doing a smoky eye. I actually haven't got it on today, but I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. Um, yeah, it just co really complements a bold lip, or if you just want a lazy makeup day but you still want to put something on your lids, then either one of these on your lids are really, really pretty. So yeah, highly recommend checking Sober, which is like an everyday shade, and Honey Lust, which is like an all-over glitter shade. So I really like this. 
so that's all my October favourites, October slash September favourites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please also check out my latest video, which is a empty video, and I would link that down below. Everything that I mentioned today would also be in the description box. So if you are interested, then by all means, check my description box and... I will link all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, and everything else down below. So yeah, I'm done for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great day. I shall be back next week for another video. And yeah, see you later. Bye.